I am Scott Eagle. Uh, I'm associate professor of painting and drawing at East Carolina University. Well, I began first as an illustrator. I w I've got an illustration degree here at ECU, and I went and worked as a freelance illustrator mid to late 80s um, and discovered that it wasn't exactly what I expected. And so when I came back here, I was a bit lost and um, illustration at that time was essentially a type of painting. And so when I, I decided I'd go back to get my master's degree and once I'd um, started the degree, I realized I really loved uh, painting. And so that was the first step into it. And um, looking farther back than that, I've always been painting. Like, as far as I can remember, I was taking painting classes and I'm originally from Winston-Salem and I was in advanced placement art classes through, throughout my high school. And whenever I'm painting what I want to paint, it's kind of like an epic doodle. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I just start painting and whatever happens to flow out of me comes out. But quite often, the most recent things are have been a little more whimsical and like uh, my mural downtown, it was from paintings and drawings I was doing of a, this strange story that evolved in my head about a barn swallow f and a f flying fish falling in love and never being able to get together. And so <laughs> I'm continuing to paint. I'm painting a mural in my house. I'm working on a couple different graphic novels. Um, one of them is actually right behind the camera. Um, it's called The Life Cycle, and it's a story about me dying and then becoming death and taking a walk, seeing what it's like to be dead. And, <laughs> and then I'm also going to finish, I have working with a, a former student of ours, Tim French, and I'm going to be finishing up, I hope, the story of the flying fish and the barn swallow, and it's called Forbidden Love. I have uh, been asked by the Spanish American International Institute of Studies to create a study abroad program for mural painting in uh, Seville, Spain. And so our students and potentially students from other universities would be able to go with us to, to Seville and um, paint a mural there and see, you know, Spain. In our building, we're all visual problem solvers. And each of us is either studying how visual problems are solved, like art education um, and art histories, or they're making or they're solving for a client. And so a fine artist is solving their own problems. And so my problems are like, you know, most people's, they're kind of all over the place and worried about politics or family or whatever. And so, you know, it's like those are the, the inspiration for my work.